Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted, as always, to be joined by Pierce O'Leary. Pierce, what's happening, mate? Listen, before we, we break down, how hard was it to get the Zoom call up and running, man? <laughs> what, 20 minutes from the get go? Yeah, listen, but let's, we're here now. We've made it. I don't know what was going on. We had two four more. Uh, we had to go to safari and all that sort of stuff. So, listen, we've made it. Uh, What's happening, mate? You good? Fuck. Yeah. With that, did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I've, I've wanted to get a chat. Uh, it's been a while since I spoke to you, man. I think the last time I spoke to you was your fight against uh, Sierra way back in October or September last year, man. So it's been a while. Yeah, I'm all good. Um, just been, I uh, you know what, I was meant to be back out in February, but I took the Christmas off the joy time of family because I missed out so much previous, you know, so, uh, so yeah, I just took the time off, relaxed, and man, I'm back, I'm back now, refreshed, ready to go, ready to go. You're back out in a couple of weeks from the 15th and MTK show. Uh, I mean, Gio Osgo was a great opponent and your last opponent, so what kind of, who are you hoping to fight this time round? Obviously, you don't want to take that step down and fight another so-called journeyman. I'm sure you want to take another step up the ladder. Yeah, well, the opponent ain't announced yet, but uh, he's a Spanish guy, and uh, to be honest, he's actually a lot better than his record says, you know? His record doesn't look great, but he's tough. He's a tough cookie, and uh, he's never been... He's never been stopped in his fight, so if right. we stop him, it's a statement, you know. So uh, he's very enjoyable, which they're looking to get rounds for me. So let's let's see if I get him over there, it's going to be a statement. Is, is that sort of the game plan going ahead? Because obviously, we look at this one forty pound division right now, and especially domestically in the UK and Ireland, it's it's a tasty little division. So are you hoping to go out there similar to what Dalton Smith done against Bray Mollet? He's obviously in the same sort of level as you, ten and all, eight and all. And what he done to Ray? Are you hoping to go out there and put the one forty pound division on notice? Yeah, of course. That's that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Um, that's the plans, you know. Like that's the plan. And listen, I'm not. To, um, yeah, like as you said about um, Dalton Smith and Ray Mole, um, that kind of level fights like they're 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 on the they're mid age, mid twenties now, so they're kind of. They're chasing those titles now. So we're I've listen, I'll find them a title for you tomorrow. That's no worries. Mm. I don't think the management team will let me train. Like they just I've had a meeting there not so long ago and um we we'd set out and stuff like that. And it, it is that trying to hold me back on the reins a little bit, you know. That just because obviously you are eight and all, you're still only a baby, you're only 22 and all uh, 22 and all, you're only 22 years old, so uh there's still a lot of learning to do. Yeah, a lot of learning. And not only that, it's just a, it's experience in the ring also where sparring and who you're, what kind of level level opponents who are sparring as well in the ring. So, look, I've still, I've still got loads of time left. You know what I mean? Like, you look at Gary and stuff like that, like, Gary, Gary's on that platform now at the age of 25. Do you know what I mean? And, and I think it, it's perfect. It's a perfect time for him because look at how, he, how he's making people look. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's, it's great time and, and um, yeah, and it's fantastic. I mean, it's obviously his management team is doing the right team. When you look at the, the the division, you're just talking about being held back at the reins a little bit, but obviously you're going to have to face these guys at some point because you're quite well ranked. There is up and coming fighters that are coming up along and testament to their amateur background, and you've got a good amateur background as well. They've been pushed on a little bit harder than most. So when, when you look at the division right now and you look at these guys, how far are you from these guys in your own mind? To get that, I'm talking about the whole Harry Davis, the Lewis Ritsons, them sort of guys. I'm not too far behind. I'm mm. not too far behind, uh, to be honest with you, um, Andrew, because every fight, every fight, I'm bringing a different person lady to the table all the time. Mm. Like, and you can see the improvements all the time. Like, and even when I'm, I'm sparring these guys in the gym, who we first come over and sparred with and it was it was tight, you know, it was tight. And now I'm not gonna mention names, but now like, they're kind of going over, like you know, what I mean? I'm putting them over and sparring. So listen, the level of me is going up all the time. And those kind of fours we mentioned, I'm not too far away. I'm not too far away at all. When 
you mentioned that you're not getting these guys over now. Is that uh, when we mentioned your age, 32 years old, are you starting to come into your body a little bit more? Are you starting to get your man strength and starting to bully these people a little bit? Do you know what? I, t- I just think I'm not, I'm not rushing no more. I'm just taking my time. Um, take the time. Everything's falling into place. And yeah, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with the more, as the rounds go on, I get more comfortable in there. And I can, I can slow the pace down. I can see the shots before I throw them. And yeah, it's just it's, it's, it, I'm picking up more experience as the as the more rounds we spar. I want to talk about Irish boxing for a moment, like Kevin Ajago as well. You mentioned Gary Cully, uh, Mick Conlon, unfortunately, when a fight of the probably the, it's going to be the fight of the year. Like he would. You've got young guys, Paddy, Paddy Donovan still winning. You've got Kieran Malloy who's turned over. He, he looks the part. Uh, is Irish boxing back? It never left. <laughs> it never left. Yeah, no, listen, I mean, is it okay? You, you, you got me there, but you know what I mean. That's it's the young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, listen, it's, listen, there's so much talent now with the with the cycles being there, uh, with the Olympic cycle being over now, and there's so many pros, uh, so many uh, amateurs going pro now. So um, it's all great talent. <sighs> Yeah, it's just it's being kept busy, and uh, it's only a matter of time that big big shows be back in Dublin and Ireland because uh, it just it's unbelievable with the amount of talent that's coming through through Ireland now. You know, I think I think it's been seen right around the world. Like I said to you as well, like the one forty pound division. When you look at it as as a as a fighter, I, I mean, take your management team and your coaching team to the side, and you look at that division, and you look at. Well, Josh Taylor looks like he might move up, but you've got Jack Carroll, Regis Progre, uh, Ramirez, Sapida. Um, even when you come back down to the UK, you've got O'Hara Davis, you've got Lewis Ritson, you've got Jack Carroll, you've got Tyro McKenna, another Irish, great Irish fighter. You've got Sam Maxwell, Robert Davis Jr., Akeem Ennis Brown. When you look at that division, like how did, when I rattled off all them names, how does that make you feel? Excited. <laughs> Butterflies. Aye. Literally. It's like it's like a fire in your stomach. You just want to say, yeah, that's who I want to mix her up with. Yeah. And that's who. I, listen, I'd love to mix her up. Not not too far away. I'd love to mix her up with them. That kind of that kind of level of people. You know what I mean? Yeah, are you worried about this? Yeah, I see young fighters, peers. They they, they 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 care about that all so much. Do you care about having that zero on your record? Um, do you know what? I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I do. I do. Like. Listen, look at Mayweather and stuff like that. They've all got the O and but you look at the greatest, they never they they haven't got the O. Do you know what I mean? But that's so, what you've been just because you said that I can't wait to mix with all them, but like these are talented fighters in the in the UK and Ireland. And obviously you you're, you're being held back a little bit, but when you when I mentioned them names, you said butterflies excited, but it's gonna be tough fights for you at world level, even at domestic level in the UK and Ireland. So that, that you could be chucked in when you're 12 and 0 against an undefeated opponent, Dalton Smith, Sam Maxwell, Robbie Davis Jr. Who knows? So it's that's why I asked that question, so to speak. Is do you, are you the, the whole zero and the whole market and ability behind that zero and the O? That's why I asked if you care about it. No, listen, I don't really, I don't really care about the the O at the minute. You know what I mean, because simple reason being, if we keep bringing the best personality to the table, mm. there's no one gonna beat me. No one gonna be so listen if they if they if I if I'm if there's a map a road mapped out for me and there's someone one of those in that name is in, in front of me which is holding the title for me from not getting but then I'm gonna have to face them and, and, and take them over there, you know. That's would you would you uh, obviously when you, would you fight your fellow Irishman and Irish? Would you fight like a, a, a would you fight like a Ray Moilet? Would you fight a Tyler McKenna? Is that an Irish class? Does that interest you? Yeah, of course, of course. But fighting all those guys needs to make sense, boys. You know what I mean? It needs to make. Wait, what am I going to learn from that fight? What's mm. going to? What's it going to? What position is going to put me in? Something like that. So we 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 see a lot of the the pros, you know, because at the, at the minute there's a lot of cons with them. So it's very mm. like there's more cons than pros. So we'd have to weigh it up and see which is the best option. April 15th, you're back out then. You're on the MTK show in the York Hall in London. You're probably, you're, you're, you're a Londoner by now, are you not? You've been there for so long. 
Right, it's almost, almost like a home show. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's like April but, um, no, you gonna say sorry. What you, no, don't you crack on what you're gonna say there? Um, no, it's been good. It's um, I'm at the fitness so nicely now, you know, and I think I know COVID never done anyone greatness, but uh, I think it benefited me so much because I'm not fighting so not fighting regularly. Where I got to come over here, work with my coach Al and Ed and Paul, and um, just stick to the grind. Where we we weren't rushing through camps, we were just taking our time, mm. developing, and um, getting used to each other. And I think it's uh, that was that was a massive asset for me. That was, you know. So um, yeah, I always blessed with that. Really good. April fifteenth, and you mentioned one final one for me then, Piers, before I let you get back, because I know you're, you're training at three, I believe you said, so I do appreciate your yeah, time. Yeah. April 15th, MTK show in London. You mentioned that you're going to make a statement, so can the fans, can they expect a, a knockout from yourself? Yeah. Um, listen, I'm going to go out there, do my best, but I feel like it's going to be a stoppage. Mm. I'm going to go out and get the stoppage. That's what I feel like, and I'm believing that I will, you know, like, Help and perform and train. Should I have to ease up my spirit now? Because um, I, I'm too way. I'm 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 too light. I'm way ahead of schedule. Too sharp. So um, so yeah. I was like, oh yeah, you've got to take today off and tomorrow off. I was like, no, I don't want it. So um, I'll be going to the gym tonight. Doing a nice little light session. Nothing hard. I'm on point. So I'm, so I'm on point. And then um, that's this is a lot. Of, this is a lot of um, stuff that people don't see in the ring. Do you mean I'll be behind the scenes or whatever like that where. I don't think people are gonna say. I don't think people saw the best person there yet. That's the truth, Andy. And that's the scary thing because I've seen you from the start to your last fight against Yarosgo, and I mean you've been progressing nicely. The big bang is starting to bang people out. Listen, and even listen, like that 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 performance was good. It wasn't great. You know, like he wasn't. I got back into the dressing room. I was like, ah, oh, because I got cool. I was like. That wasn't a great performance. I didn't like that performance, you know. Mm. And it's like, oh, I was people are saying that was a great performance, but I believe I can deal better. So with that mind frame, I believe like when I when I hit those kind of big names who you said beforehand, when I get to that kind of level, people are gonna be in for a shock. You know, people are gonna be in for a big shock. You're definitely an exciting prospect coming through, especially at 22 years old. And um, you're a very exciting fighter. So if anyone can make it down to York Hall on the 15th of April. Keep your eye out for Pierce O'Leary. Mark my words. <laughs> I've seen you from Get the start, mate. I have, um, I have 150 travelling over. There you go. See, you like the fan base. You've already got the fans. The fans already love you. Listen, I've got I've got a good fan base here in London, so it's it's fantastic. <laughs> no, Pierce, listen, I won't be I won't be at the MTK show. Obviously, it's a bit far. It's too stale for me to travel. Uh, but I'm sure one of the guys from IFL will be there. But I'll be watching. So good luck. And uh, thank you so much for doing this 5L TV, mate. And then enjoy your training tonight. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Andy. I really appreciate it, pal. Anytime, no, Pierce. Really... Thank you. Bye-bye.